Hello and welcome to Numismatic Book Reviews. Last week I covered the Standard Guide to Grading British Coins by Derek Francis Allen. This week I'm covering the official American Numismatic Association's grading standards for United States coins. Quite a mouthful. It is compiled and edited by Kenneth Bressett, I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly, and the narrative was by Q. David Bowers. First up, I want to say that this is totally different in how it goes about grading coins, um, or the method of grading coins is totally different to the book that I covered last week. Last week you're just talking about grades from like fine, very fine, extremely fine and circulated etc etc. In the American way they're using what's known as the Sheldon scale and that is a numbered grade from 0 to 70. On the whole, I do not use numbered grading. Um, I do on some coins that I've had graded. They are pieces which I've put together painstakingly, trying to find the absolute most perfect coin I could get for each type. And I sent them off to a UK company which grades up to 100. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them again, to be honest. I probably send the next batch off to the American company and see how they do things. Um, it's, it's been a bit of a sort of an experimentative journey, if I'm honest, I wouldn't really say that I'm an expert on any of this sort of stuff, but I first bought this book a few years back just out of curiosity. Um, I'd never used number grading, not that keen on using it, um, but I, I find it uh, an interesting idea, so I thought I'd get the book and, uh, and see what it says, see whether it makes sense. On the whole, you know, I know that the um, the Sheldon scale is just a traditional sort of scale. It doesn't seem very logical to go for numbers from zero to seventy. Um, the British one, they're claiming to have a more logical scale, but I, I think they're both fairly fit for purpose. So the Americans are using their traditional scale, and we have ours. Whether ours will go anywhere in the future, I do not know. Um, right. Let's take a little look at the book. I like this, the nice binder down the middle. This is made to be used, and uh, sadly this book hasn't been used much. I read it, enjoyed it, thought it was great, and I don't think I've looked at it again. Um, much like the British book, you have got images for each coin, and then a written description. You've got the, the general sort of bold grades of fine, very good, extremely fine over here. And then you've got the numbers as well, which break up within those grades with their own descriptions, which I think is really cool. Uh, the images, they're good quality images, all colour, which I like, I like colour. They're not as big as in the British book, but I think they get the job done. And they've crammed an awful lot of information into quite a small space. So we go, this covers gold as well. One of the things I quite like about this book is it gives good advice on clean coins, on doctored coins, all sorts of things like that, which, you know, it can be hard to get good advice on that sort of stuff, and the Americans, they're quite hot on it. And I think that's jolly marvellous. So, would I buy this book again? Absolutely yes. Um, if, like me, you're curious about numbered grading, then a book like this is a must-have. There are other American books on numbered grading. This is the only one I've ever bought. Um, I forget how much this set me back. But So I mean US dollars, you're looking at like $20. But then I had to pay for this to be shipped from the US to the UK. And then on top of that, I had to pay the import duties. So it made it quite an expensive book to buy, but I think you can't put a price on information, on knowledge, and uh, that, that's why we buy these books. At the end of the day, knowledge is, is valuable and priceless. Um, if you're new to collecting, I wouldn't go out and buy this. If, well, if you're, sorry, if you're new to collecting British coins, I wouldn't go out and buy this. I would buy the British book, and then after that I'd be moving on to a price guide. I was going to do price guides in this video but that's going to be next week's video i thought it made sense just to do this grading guide because the first video is on grading and 
this is a grading guide, so in it goes. Um, thank you for watching, if you've been watching. If you like, thumbs up. If you don't like, thumbs down. If you've got any comments, suggestions or questions, please feel free to pop them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, goodbye.